Welcome back to another manager's blog with me, John. Uh, it's Friday today, um, and we're we're preparing to uh, to look forward to tomorrow's game versus Shaftesbury Crusade. So it's been a good week um, for the club since my last blog. Obviously, if you've kept up with with things on the channel, um, my last blog last Friday saw us uh, looking forward to travelling down to to Yeovil for the cup game on Saturday. Um, a tremendous win for the lads, 3-1. Um, a really, really strong performance all round, all over the pitch. So it was a it was a great day. Um, well worthwhile making the long journey down to Yeovil and um, lads, obviously as expected, um, buzzing with a second round win um, in the cup, which which obviously sees us progress to the third round. So it's been a really good week. Um, back at was it training Tuesday night in. Had a bit of a different training session uh, Tuesday night because we've had a, quite a few games recently and sort of a bit intense training with, with one thing and another with sort of fitness regimes and, and sort of training. So really wanted just to take a little bit of pressure off of the lads um, Tuesday. Well, not not pressure, but just, just the amount of uh, sort of emphasis what we're putting in in training. So we had a bit of a lighter session Tuesday, a few sort of games um a few things, which you, again, we got a few videos out on YouTube of what we were, were sort of doing, some funny challenges and stuff like that. And then we just finished um, with a good sort of 50 minute session, attack versus defense, um, working on a bit of shape and a bit of movement and stuff like that. But yeah, it was, it was a good night. And as I said, it's been a, a really good week for uh, for the lads and, and sort of well, well deserved really for what they've put in over the last sort of five, six games. Um, if you've been following these blogs, you know we didn't start the season incredibly well. A um, couple of sort of one or two victories and a few defeats, and not so much the, the whether it was victories or or draws or defeats, whatever it was. But our performance levels wasn't nowhere near what it should be. So we had a bit, had a bit of a sort of a hit the reset button in the last five six games. Now the lads have been getting better and better and sort of back to their normal selves. So that's that's the pleasing thing for me as manager and and sort of. Um, putting a focus going forward on, on keeping that momentum and keeping that sort of ethics of, of how we're going to play going forward. So tomorrow sees us, uh, see, we sees us uh, go away to um, Shaftesbury Crusade. Um, it's, it's a bit of a funny one, this, because we're away at Lockley's Sports Centre and it's, um, it's a replay of our opening, um, the opening fixture of the, from the opening weekend. So that was a game we um, we actually lost on the day. Um, we lost three two, and without sort of going into specifics, because I'm not going to do that, um, the game's got to be replayed. So this tomorrow is is the is the fixture, is the replay. So it's a bit of a weird one. You don't come across that in football often, um, but yeah, the, the lads are going to be up for it and looking forward to it. I'm sure it's going to be. Um, an eventful game because I, I'm sure um, Shaftesbury will feel probably a little bit, well, I don't know, hard done by if they got to replay a game they've won. But like I said, without going into specifics, where this is the uh, this is the right thing that the game is replayed. Um, and as, as much as we felt incredibly hard done by by the by the first game, so it's going to be an interesting game. I'm I'm hoping that it. it turns out that it things settle down and we just played a game with this you can easily imagine that this this game could have a little bit of needle of, of two teams feeling our dumb boy or whatever it might be and I'm hoping it don't get silly um, and anything sort of stupid let's I'm hoping that we get there tomorrow play the game win lose or draw I hope the better side wins um, if, if that's us fantastic if it's them our fair play and well played to them but I just hope it's played in the right spirit and um um, yeah, it, and it's a, a good game of football and a credit to football that uh, the, the, the spirit of the game is played in this time. So that's that's what I'm, I'm hoping tomorrow. Um, it's going to be a tough fixture for us, um, as, as these fixtures will be, um, way from home. Uh, it's a bit of a, the only sort of shadow on our week this week um, was, was Mike Gilbo um, in, in, the, in the last Saturday's Cup game. Um, he might went down in innocuous challenge, nothing sort of in it or anything like that. And he went down with his knee and it's looking like he's um, 
he's done his ligaments in his knee, so he's going to be out for quite some time um, for us. So that was uh, the, the only sort of disappointing thing um, for the club this week. But uh, again, a, a, a sort of more or less a, a full side squad to pick from tomorrow. So we, we go with uh, Reese Tamlin in goal, uh, Jack Gilbertson, Ben Jeffrey comes in for, for Mike. Uh, Josh Cleaver is back tomorrow. Uh, Dan Little, Sam Morgan, Billy Gilberson, Josh Gilberson, Dylan Peters, uh, George PC, and Tom Blake. So, good lineup tomorrow. Um, I'm fully expecting that the lads pick up where they've left off over the, the sort of last Saturday, but over the last couple of weeks, and go out on the front foot, go out attacking, um, and really take the game to to Shaftesbury tomorrow because we know we got if we settle down quickly like we did last week and play our football we're going to be a um a good sort of match for for anybody really so um that's that's the sort of the mandate for tomorrow is that the, to come out all sort of guns blazing and and, and playing our football work hard um but play our football and, and sort of take control the tempo and dictate the game but uh yeah it's um i'm looking forward to tomorrow and hopefully we could continue to progress up up the league and get towards the uh the sort of top of near the top of the league where we we think we should we should be um eventually with with the te team of sort of players we, we have so yeah it's um, gonna be a good weekend and for us um it doesn't stop just stop on saturday this weekend because as you know if you've been following sort of our posts and our blogs we have our charity day sunday so literally um, probably about 18 16 18 hours after our Saturday game at league game ends we're uh, we're in our chat uh, Saturday sorry our Sunday charity game which starts at 10 o'clock and it's an eight hour game of football so it's a big event we've put a lot of uh, sort of focus on um, we're, we're working with uh, Alzheimer's society for a, a very worthy cause a great cause um, raising lots of money um, and it's going to be a continuous eight hour game of football. So that's going to be uh, insanely hard for us, especially on the back of, uh, of playing Saturday. Um, I'll be, be, be attempting to play myself Sunday and, and put in a good, good amount of time on the, uh, on the pitch. But it's, um, it's going to be fun. It's going to be a laugh. It, it, like I said, it's for a great cause. Um, it's in Bristol, is it uh, in, in Imperial Sports? Uh, center in, in West Ham Lane in Bristol. So it's 10 o'clock start to 6 o'clock finish. Um, if you want to come along, please do. We've got a few gazebos going up, food, um, so sort of snacks, drinks and stuff like that. Cheer the boys on. We're open to raise a lot of money. Um, we, we've already started and already raised a lot of money, but we're open to continue that on the day. So um, if you're about, please, I said, feel free to come down for half hour for a drink, cup of tea, whatever it may be. And cheer the boys on um, for the first time ever and you'll probably see from our channel as well we're actually streaming the the event live so we've ran a couple of um, test streams um, where we're streaming live um, last Saturday's game a couple of training sessions to just work out some teething problems so this was all in preparation for um, our Sunday event where um, yeah we can stream live and hopefully attract some donations as well for people watching the live stream so please please help if you can um, visit our website which is www.bristolunitedfc.co.uk um, if you go to our events page you will see it's all on there about um, about Sunday's event so please help us please give if you can for I said for a great cause and and sort of help us make a real success of uh, of the event on Sunday so really really busy weekend for us um i'm sure we're all going to be extremely tired after after saturdays and sundays uh events so i should imagine training at tuesday will be a little bit of a quiet affair but um yeah it, that, that's what we do we enjoy doing and working with the community and working with charities so um a great great event for a great cause but like i said if you um if you're free if you can log on to youtube our youtube channel where it'll be streamed live come back come down and visit us and, and say hello um yeah just just please support us as well as you can um another big milestone this week is um this week we passed our thousands um subscribers so we've actually gone up to actually is 1100 and 
something subscribers now. So we've passed a, a huge milestone in our YouTube channel, which is it's only I said about six six months old. So it that's it's quite a feat to to, to pass that in this short short space of time. So a huge thank you to everybody who like and subscribe and watch these videos. It's getting bigger and bigger. We try to sort of vary our content, put a lot of content on there and the following's getting bigger week by week and more views and stuff like that. So thank you from me and on behalf of Sam and Ash um, from the bottom of our arts for everybody who've liked, watched, shared, subscribed um, to our YouTube tab channel. And please spread the word. If you haven't done it, please like and subscribe and click the notification bell. Um, and yeah, we've got plenty of social media channels, Twitter or X, what it's called now. Um, send our YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, um, TikTok. So we're on quite a few um, social media channels. So if you're on one of those, give us a like and a follow. And just to end the video, um, as, as always, to say a thank you, I said, for whether you're there at watching us again, watching one of our videos, liking one of our posts. Thank you from, from us all, because I said, we really, really do appreciate it. We put a lot of hours and a lot of hard work into our social media. And um, yeah, we, we appreciate you all for uh, for liking and, and, and watching and subscribing. So our next video now will probably be, um, we're gonna go live tomorrow with the game. Um, so you'll be able to watch that live on YouTube for the game. Um, we'll have a post-match interview with myself and and, and man of the match uh, to um, give our our sort of post-match match faults, and then we'll be back on Sunday. One well, no, Saturday evening, we'll have the highlights of the the video um, going up on our YouTube channel of the, of, of the game as well. So um, it'll be streamed live. Plus, we'll have the highlights package, and then Sunday we'll be back with another live stream for our charity event, where hopefully we can get a lot of viewers and a lot of followers. But Thanks as always, guys, and I will see you on the next video.